Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And about a week ago, I was doing a video and I was talking about, I think it was actually about if you lose power. And I was saying, just, you know, you need to be able to power your devices or have a portable charger. Maybe it's even a marine battery or it could be a small handheld kind of portable charger. And I went and bought one. I, I already have one, but I wanted to get a solar charger. So I got a solar charger and I'm going to show it to you and how I have it on my pack. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, what I've found so far. Because if you're out hiking on an adventure and maybe your power doesn't go out, you're just on an adventure and you want to have constant power and you don't want to, you know, have to go to civilization or carry a big battery or go back to your vehicle or your cabin, whatever it might be, and you want to be able to charge, I've got a really good solar charger for you. But before I show that to you, please like, subscribe, share and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Now I've already got this on my pack. I don't even remember the name of it honestly, but I'm going to show it to you real quick. And maybe the name is on the pack, on the battery, on the charger. I've got it laid out already. The battery capacity of uh, 3.75 volts, 25,000 milliamps. Input is uh, 5V volts, 3 amps. And what's really nice about it, it, it unfolds into, you know, a, a, a pretty good size solar panel. And I'm going to pull this off my pack and I'm going to show it to you a little bit better. But before I pull it off my pack, I just want to let you know that, you know, I, I, I didn't want this to be flopping around in my pack. So I, I bought a strap right here. It's about a 30 inch strap that goes around my pack. And that is to be able to keep this from flopping around because there's only one connection. This connection, I hooked it onto one of my straps here or the, 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 the poles to, for this pocket, but I wanted it to be a little more sturdy. And I have another strap I can put down here, but you can see this strap and they'll have a link in the description for that. There'll also be a link in the description for the solar charger. But let me take it off my pack real quick and show it to you in a little more detail. Okay, here it is. You know, you can see right now that it's about the same size, a little bit wider, and you know, maybe about the same thickness as these satellite communicators, both of these. This, this one here is a Garmin Alpha 200i. It's actually a hunting yeah, in-reach device. You can actually message and S SOS message. You can track your dogs on it. So for me, it's not just about hunting. When I have Ranger out here and I'm out farther out, I want to be able to see where he's at if he takes off after an animal. And then I've got my 67i, the GPS map 67i right here. But that's not what the video is about today. But I want to show you, just show you how similar in size. But there's this one little attachment here, not attachment, but a strap and snap. It snaps right here. This keeps it closed. And honestly, it is about the size of a phone. I have a 14, uh, a iPhone 14 and you can see it's same size but it's definitely thicker but I wanted to just tell you real quick a little bit about it there is uh, down here there's a uh, ports on it there's two USB ports and then I believe the small one's a USB-C port and you can close that up it's very simple there's not a lot to it there is a flashlight on the back here's the power button and I think if you hold the power button down for about three seconds, the flashlight comes on. On the side, there's four lights and then there's a, set, a, a fifth light. This fifth light is if you have it where it's uh, charging, this light will show up green. It'll show green that you're actually charging. These other four lights are blue and the bottom one, when, it char when the charge goes, when it's fully charged, all four will be lit up. And then as it loses charge, it'll start dropping down towards the bottom. And I'll just, uh, well, let me, let me unfold it and show it to you a little bit more. So it's nice because it, it's, you know, it folds up real nice and you can put it on your pack. But then if you want to get it out, then it unfolds and it's in, has four solar panels. You can see there. And I've already charged uh, several things on it. I've already charged up this, this device, this is a solar charger. But you can see it's, it's pretty lightweight. It's, it's really easy to fold up. Uh, I really like it. It's really nice and convenient, but I like it for some other reasons also. So when I first got it and I was reading the instructions, there's not a lot to it. 
The first thing is, is that you want to charge it with a wall charger for the first charge. And then I believe it said about once a month, you want to fully charge it with the wall charger. I guess it helps extend the battery life. I'm not sure, but that's what it said to do. The other thing is, is it, when you want to charge something, you, you turn the power on, this power button here, and then you charge something in. But I think you only have 30 seconds. If you don't plug something in and start charging within about 30 seconds, it'll go off. So charge it, and I, I had, I'll tell you what, I had, I've got like 15 satellite communicators, and I charged up like 10 or 12 of them fully charged. And on the last one, it got to like 80 something percent before I lost power. But I'm telling you, I've charged up over 10 devices. And then it, it was been, it's been real cloudy here lately and raining a lot here in Colorado. And this is something to be careful about because if you go out and you're like, hey, I got this and I'm going to you know, have all the power in the world. Not necessarily. If you have a lot of cloud cover, it's raining a lot, you're not going to charge this very well. You really want to have a full sun or pretty close to it. And so I had to wait a couple days before the sun to come out. And then I charged it. I had one day it was beautiful, sunny all day, well, like today. And I put it out on the deck in the morning and then the green light showed up, came on, and by the end of the day, it took, I don't I wouldn't, it was definitely not 24 hours, but by the end of, say, a 12 to 14 hours, and I wasn't testing, this is not scientific test here for any of you, but I think within 12 to 14 hours, it all, all, blew, all the lights were on. It was fully charged, as far as I could tell, because, well, I mean, if it's got all four blue lights, then, you know, it looked charged to me. So I haven't actually gone back and charged anything else, any of my satellite communicators or my phone with it. But again, within 12 to 14 hours on a fully bright day, it was fully charged from the solar panels. I was able to charge, like I said, like 10 devices. So, you know, for me, if I'm going out on a long adventure, I'm going to have this with me, but I'll also carry another portable charger that's similar to this but it's not solar powered so i'll have two it just depends on the adventure and i i guess what i really want you guys to think about is think about your trip think about your adventure because you may be you know car camping or you know remote camping but you have access to be able to charge every day well then you don't need this but if you're going to be out longer then you may need a portable charger or you may want the solar charger uh, I really like it. I just wanted, I've never had one and I wanted to test it. And because I had brought this issue up about, you know, if you if you lose cell service, you don't have cell service and you're wanting to be able to communicate with people and you can still communicate with the satellites, you still have to be concerned about losing battery on your, well, cell phone, because if you're synced with your cell phone, you may still want to use that, but your cell phone may be out. But if you want to use your satellite communicators, well, then they're going to lose your power also. So you want to be able to charge. That's really all there is to it. I'll have a link in the description below. This really worked well. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't know if it will you know, lose its capabilities over a year, two, three years. I have no idea about that. All I know is right now, for not a lot of money, I want to say it was $50, $49, but that'll be on the screen. And uh, I'm really happy with it. It's a really great, from my opinion, a great portable charger, solar charger. And if you have others you've seen and like, leave, the, leave a comment below about ones you found that you've been happy with. But so far, really like this. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment below. Any advice, constructive criticism even, I'll take that too. But leave those comments below. And thanks for watching and hanging out with me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. And I will see you back out here in Colorado in the next video.